Hey guys, Barrett is here and welcome back to Feed the Beast. So, last episode we got our water mills built. And I've been clearing out this area under here since, well, between episodes. And we are now ready to set these guys up. So, I want to set these up in a pattern like this. And, oh, I really didn't think this through, did I? Uh... Okay, that's fine. We'll do it like this. I kind of just threw this, cleared this area out and threw it together. I didn't count or anything, which really shows now. What am I doing? That. This here, and we'll extend this over one. It'll be fine. So, the plan here is to set these up, set up these water mills in a pattern like that, all across this lowered area, with just tin cables on top of them. And tin cables will work fine. The other thing I want to do is set up some pistons. Let's see. We'll get the water set up right first, so... Oh yeah, good. I've got that there, so... Here's how we want the water streams to flow, like this. And... Hmm, I think it'll be easier if we do it from this side, so... First thing we have to do is work out how far the streams will reach. So that'll get to there. Which probably isn't enough for what I want. Whoop. So I'll move this over to here. Yeah, okay, that's what I want that to do. Now if I set up another stream over here. Let's get that out of here. Okay, set that up there. Now the aim is to have flowing water all around the water mills. See, we've got still water right here, but that's okay because that's not beside any of the mill, uh, water mill blocks. So if we do that like that, we can set up... We'll leave another water block here. Grab some more water. We set it up in here. Whoop, there. Yeah, that'll get that'll cover everything. We'll have no still water beside these guys. And they'll constantly generate power for us. Let's see, one there, one there, one there, one there. Break that. Place a source block. Just like that. That's perfect. Now, normally I'd set up pistons, but I'm thinking I don't need to for this. Seeing as we already have the jetpack, getting stuck down here won't be a problem. And because it's lowered, we can run the cables across the top and you'll have an easy enough way to get out of here. I think. Hmm. I might even lower these, actually. That could be a good idea. Hmm. How are we going to make this look decent? Well, first of all, I'll get this fixed up. So. Got to get this looking... Oh, bugger. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Oh, well. Uh, break that that. No, not there. We want it here. I believe. If we have it here, what happens? Ah, that's fine. No, I'm going to put it back on anyway. Put it back like that. I don't think I need to have these back in the wall slightly. I did in the past because I used to put a piston there that would turn off the water streams. 
But we probably don't need that if we're just going to leave them on. But if I do it this way, I can always come back and just add those later, if need be. Or if I want to. Let's get these all replaced. And we've got four more water mills, so we're going to need a few more to finish this off. But what we've got will do for now. That, that, and that. And those there. Now, goes three, ah, three blocks, then the water stream, three blocks. Ah, why is my mouse doing that? Ah, I use the mouse wheel to scroll through my um, inventory. By the way, that's why I always go like this and not use the numbers to just jump directly. Okay, that's not going to line up properly, is it? I don't think so. Which is a bit of a shame. It means our factory isn't... But the factory's fine, it just means it's not going to work quite right for this. Although it might be close enough. Maybe. Put that there. You have one empty block. But these are going to flow. So one there. One there. And you have one there, but we're not going to put one there. Okay. That's fine, so we'll just... Probably just block that up again. Might just salvage these bricks. Like this. That. And fill this in with dirt. Ah, playing with water streams, so much fun. Okay. These. At least we have a jetpack. This is so much more difficult without one. Okay, that should be fine. So if we put that there. That there, everything should line up. We just need another four water mills. And we're done. So I'll place this one. Whoop, whoop. I'll place this one here. Okay. I've got to watch out. Alright, so there's our water mills. And I just fell down there. Uh, we need to get tin wire, I think it is. Tin wire. Tin ingots, that'll do. Uh, like this. So we're making ultra low current cable. And because these water mills are, they generate a really small amount of power, we need to run a lot of them and we can use this cheap cabling to draw the power out of them. If we just run these all along here, and let me think. So that's fine, we'll just get these all set up first, and then we can figure out what we're going to do. So I don't need to interconnect all these, I can just run these along here. To the ends, and then... Just these ones, and there. Okay, now. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now we need to go up here and decide where we're actually going to put our setup. So I think we'll have our basic energy. Buildcraft energy is going to come in from this side, from the power station. So buildcraft stuff will be in this corner. 
So this is going to be a lot of our constantly used machines. So I think we'll put them over here. Yeah, on this wall. So, knowing that, we can then connect these cables like this and then run them this way. And let's see, I can fill this in, we don't need this anymore. Put this up here. Okay, break these things and get them out of the way. Uh, we can't break those yet. Project table can stay there. So first things first, we're going to have to set up a bat box. So let's take our bat box from over here. A little bit of power in it, but whatever. So we'll take this and we're going to use this bat box to store the water mill power specifically. Because if we try to connect, if we try to connect this cable to anything else, it might backflow and just blow out the cables and stuff, and we don't want that to happen. So if we set up a bat box, say here. and just run the cable into it It'll still move across there fine now this is going to start getting power not a lot but that's not too bad actually a nice steady stream now we take that and whoop, whoop, whoop. thankfully we're not going to have to come down here too much once it's set up because those trapdoors are a bit annoying uh, let's see, I need a wrench. Do we have any wrenches built? I don't think we have any for build craft. Do we? Uh, for industrial craft. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we need some bronze. We make a bronze wrench. So... Two, three... Are you tin? Yep, yeah, one tin. Can we do this with bars in this one, or do we have to... Yeah, we can. Alright, cool. Uh, so we need six. One, two, three. One. Not that it matters, because we have tin on us already. There's our bronze. That can go back in there. I'll keep the tin on us for the moment, just in case we need more of it. So, we can make a industrial craft wrench like that. And we'll use this to orient that up. And from there we can use copper cabling. Do we have any copper cabling? Probably not. Oh, we got a little bit of uninsulated copper. That'll definitely do. I think, for now. Um... Yeah, so we need a little bit of rubber. The rubber's probably... Did I pick that up? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Need some rubber, and we can make an insulated cable. And do I have that being stored anywhere up here? No. Not at all. Is it in any of these? Where is it? I thought I had some somewhere. Go away, zombie. Hmm, where is it? Oh, we've got sticky resin. We'll grab three, four, five of them. And the rest of the cable. We'll smelt those. That'll let us make our wires up. Now if we just bash our way through here, let's see. So yeah, alright, this will be fine to start off with. So we'll just grab a couple of them. And we'll just run them straight from the bat box up. 
replace our oh that's a generator we don't want the generator we want an electric furnace so actually this generator can go down here as our backup power yeah, just like that we shouldn't need that anymore but it's there in case now we just need to make an electric furnace furnace electric furnace iron furnace redstone and a circuit circuit is copper cabling how many of these do we have three we need to make another three of them to make our cabling we'll need some redstone and uh, what was it a refined iron two redstone to the furnace two redstone for the circuit and some more copper wiring okay so more copper wiring those we need to refine that we can combine these to get insulated copper wiring now we can take six of them two redstone and our refined iron Oop, no get in there make a circuit take that take our iron furnace iron furnace there put the redstone there gets their electric furnace plop that there it's got power we don't have to use cold coke to smelt in our base anymore it's just that simple okay that took a little bit of doing so how much power are we generating not bad actually that's really that's better than I was expecting and we can generate a lot more power if we use if we put buckets in the water mill and that's a different kind of build but that's another option and it generates more power but it uses redstone timers and stuff so it can cause a bit more lag which I well I didn't even think of doing that first actually I want to make that's pretty much my standard starting power lately because solar panels can be a bit of a pain to get built and just making up a series of water mills with some flowing water is pretty easy and it's not a huge amount of power but I mean that fills up we can smelt a few items and that'll just fill up again over time but we will have to look at getting more power later on uh, yeah that'll do for this one guys just a short-ish one just to get that finished I've been putting off doing that for quite a while because I just didn't feel like doing anything with feed the beast really at the moment but We've got to get in and get this done so we can start moving on to other things. So I think next episode we'll get our other, uh, other industrial craft machines built. Like we've got the uh, compressor. No, not compressor. Extractor. Yeah, extractors, uh, macerators, which we don't really need the macerator, but we might build one just to say we've built one. and yeah then we'll have to look at more power I'd say because that's a good start that's a good little bit of power trickling in but we need something more and I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet but we'll work it out when we get to it alright guys that'll do for this one and I'll see you in the next one